Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the second half of April, 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys are having a good April and we're moving into May. We're almost at your birthday season. We're moving into Taurus next, but then you are following up closely right after. So that's exciting. Um, anyway, uh, please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, and I am available for personal readings. Please understand that all of the readings that I have listed in the description box below are not just for romantic or twin flame relationships. It can be applied to anything, okay? Whatever situation you, you find yourself in that you want some more clarity about can be applied in these readings that I have available to you, yeah? All right, Gemini, let's get into this. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Gemini for this time period of April 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. So yes, I have added um, Venus into the uh, calling, into the channel. Um, so there could be some relationship aspects coming through. We'll see how that moves forward, but I think moving forward, I want to continue doing that because that is a major aspect to our realities. Um, love is something that is on everybody's mind, even if you are afraid of it. But anyway, Gemini. Gemini. The twins. Gemini, Gemini, what's going on? Gemini, Gemini, I want to give you two more shuffles, Gemini. All right, one more shuffle for you, Gemini. Ooh, I just got really warm. Hmm. Okay, you guys are feeling powerful. You're feeling fired up. I would say that's kind of a good thing. Whoops. All right, let's get into this. Yeah, there's a little bit of... A little bit of scattered energy a little bit for you, Gemini. You guys are really hot about something. You're heated. Yeah, look at that. The chariot. Y'all are moving forward towards something. You are passionate. You are driven 222 on the counter. You know what you're going after, and you are doing the damn thing. Now, I'm also being... Um, being my attention is being drawn to the fact that this is also the Cancer card. So there may be a Cancer in your life. Um, that you're moving forward towards, maybe you're trying to get away from. Um, there's also, maybe there's cancer in your chart, but whatever it is um, that you're moving forward towards, this is very much emotionally driven. Now, we ha do have the Ten of Cups in reverse, so maybe there is a cancer that you're trying to get away from. But we also have the Empress, and we have the Two of Cups in reverse. So, um, there could be a situation for some of you Geminis in which uh, pregnancy is trying to happen and it's, uh, there's been trouble surrounding it. Um, maybe there's a miscarriage or maybe it's just you haven't find, found the ideal partner or the ideal um, circumstances from which to do this. There could also be a twin flame situation that is less than less than ideal um but i'm not really seeing anything being destroyed i'm just seeing resistance but for the most part gemini i feel like this resistance is coming from you it's weird it's like you want to move forward towards something but something's not lining up um and i really feel like this is more of an internal thing I feel like you're a little out of balance with where you want to be, like with the Ten of Cups and the Two of Cups. Um, and like you're in your power, don't get me wrong, but but something about the way that you're approaching this situation is not lining up with the reality of the situation. It's kind of what I'm getting here. It's interesting. But let's get into the storyline here and see what this, see what else comes up for you, Gemini. We have the uh, Prince or the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Princess of Swords in reverse. So Gemini, I really feel like maybe this Mercury in retrograde was not the best for you. Um, uh, maybe someone was coming, like you've been standing in your power and someone was coming towards you and you like, you shut that shit down real quick. I feel like someone tried to send you a message, tried to like, you know, confess something to you and you just weren't having it. This, and, and it's the, the, the Princess of Swords energy 
that's really, or the Knight of, I'm sorry, the, um, the, the Page of Swords energy, that's really saying this to me. It's like this Mercury in retrograde puts you in a position where you are not about to have someone come towards you in the way that they did. Now, what I'm also picking up is the way, the, re the main reason why you may have reacted this way is because of the past, is because of <clears throat> some of the situations or the circumstances you found yourself in with this person in the past, and now they're coming, <coughs> excuse me, they're coming back towards you, and you're, and you're like, who the hell do you think you are approaching me with this kind of shit like this after all that you've done to me or after all that we've been through? And I'm, I want to, I want to be very clear with you, Gemini. That's, that's not all that fair. Like I understand to a certain extent that, um, you know, you've been hurt or you, you know, the situation has been less than desirable, but at a certain point you got to kind of, you know, cut the ego out and like try and see things from their point of view because ultimately, you know, this is a two-way street and everybody has their own issues that they have to deal with, that they struggle with, that helps them react in the way that they did. So I'm being guided to remind you to like take this situation in into perspective. You had you had this this whatever played out between you and this other person played out in the past and you got hurt or you got angry or whatnot and you walked away and then someone and now now that person is coming back towards you and they're approaching you in a certain type of way that you're not really having and now you react in a, in a less than desirable way but wait a second now why did you react in this less than desirable way well because of the history that went on with this person in the past okay so now flip the script why did they act the way that they did in the past Oh, well, there was probably something that happened in their lives that caused them to react that way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. Moving forward, we have the Princess of Pentacles. Okay, so leveling up, a new start. That's good. With the Eight of Cups. But the Eight of Cups is in reverse. There is a lot of resistance towards walking away from something. And here, for you, Gemini, this is really talking about walking away from... Um, Yee. Okay. In this situation, this is talking about you are standing in this material aspect or this, <clears throat> this material representation of your life that's a bit juvenile, uh, for lack of a better term. Um, and you're refusing to walk away from it for some reason. It's like, it's like your, your intellect is getting the better of you. Page of Swords in reverse. Your intellect is getting to getting the better of you right now. You're being way too cutting in some situation, like with your divine masculine is what I just heard because my attention was drawn to the empress. Or it could be with your divine feminine. If you are a twin flame and you're the divine masculine Gemini and you're watching this, Please, please remember to apply this, uh, all that's coming through, apply it to your situation, how it resonates. I may not necessarily be telling the story in the way that is specifically working out for you, but yet the circumstances that I'm speaking to still resonate. So just place the, place the characters as they fall within your specific situation, okay? But it's time to release something. It's time to walk away from something. And for you, Gemini, however this plays out for you, this could be you, this could be the other person, but it's time to let go of this juvenile materialistic view. It's time to let go of the strict 3D point of view and start moving towards a higher perspective when it comes to your relationships. Because ultimately, you are the one that's blocking this within your life. It's not all just the other person. You have your own involvement in this, okay, Gemini? So just keep that in mind. And I don't mean that to hurt you, but I'm just saying it's a harsh truth. It's a reality. We are co-creators in our lives. We have the power to manifest that which we desire. And we, threw that, we do that through our thoughts and feelings, okay? So the more you focus on something that is less than desirable, unfortunately, boo, the more of it you're gonna get in your reality, okay? Moving forward, we have, ah, the Queen of Wands with the Eight of Wands in reverse. So somebody wants to send a message. Somebody wants to communicate. Um, it, it might be, it might be, so, and this is falling right under the Empress. So um, we'll say with Divine Feminine, somebody wants to communicate with Divine Feminine, but they don't know how to do it. Or they communicated to the Divine Feminine and it did not go well. <laughs> it did not go well. 
Now keep in mind, guys, we are still uh, the Mercury in retrograde ends on the fifteenth, um, but there are still be, still is going to be some of that residual energy because energies don't have a definitive start and end point. They all flow together. They mesh, and there's a but there's all kinds of gray area in between. You know the cycles. But what I'm really getting here for Gemini is. Um, there is a lack of communication. There wants someone wants to communicate. Both of you may want to communicate. It's just that's blocked right now because nobody knows how to go about it. It could be somebody wants to send an apology, but with how things went the last time they reached out, they're not really sure if they should. They still want to. That could be you, Gemini. You might want to reach out and be like, "Look, I'm really sorry for the way that I acted, but you're not so sure it's going to be received well either." It's okay. There is no right or wrong. There are no real mistakes. It's just lessons. And ultimately, please understand that, um, you know, if this connection is meant to be, then it will survive this. But either way, there is some sort of movement that wants to be made in the direction of the Divine Feminine. That is definite here across the board, okay? Um, whether that movement wants to be from the, whether the divine feminine wants to make that move or it's the divine masculine wants to make that move towards the divine feminine, the energy is here. But what's really standing in the way of that is not letting go or not walking away from something that you know you need to. That also could be a karmic relationship. There could be fear of stepping out on your own in a karmic relationship, even though you really, 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 really want to. Okay. Moving forward, we've got the Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, stagnation. And the Dev... Oh, no. I'm sorry. The Tower in reverse. Whoa. Gemini, why are you resisting the Tower? Why? Because, you know, the Tower is here so that you can move away from this. Yeah, you're refusing to walk away from something. Uh, some sort of... I'm picking up some sort of mental reality. Gemini, your mental capacities, your intellect is getting the better of you right now. And what I'm really seeing with the tower in reverse is some, the universe is coming in trying to shake something up. And you're like, no, I can't walk away from that because that gives me all this stuff, like all this, like blah, all this stuff that I've already built up. But it's like, no, 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 no. It may have given you that in the, in the past. Yeah. But is that really serving you? The tower wouldn't be here if it was. Ego and pride are getting in the way here, y'all. The universe is trying to help. You are trying to get somewhere with the chariot and the universe is saying, okay, look, the way you've been going about this isn't helping. I've been trying to get this through to you, but you don't want to listen. So now I'm bringing a tower moment, but you're still resisting. And then the universe is like, Ugh, okay, and sits back and just lets you spin your wheels until eventually you get it, all right? Moving forward, we have the Magician, okay? But the Magician is upright, so that's a good thing. With <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. There is so much resistance around. I did the Aries video, and I just finished the Taurus video, and all three of us are resisting something. But yet, you're trying to manifest something at the same time, Gemini. And you're getting frustrated, I'm feeling like, because it's not coming through or it's not coming through the way you want it to is what's really being said, said here. And that's because you're not, you are attached. You're too attached to the physical outcome of something. There is something you really don't want to let go of because you're so attached to it. You feel like it's so necessary but the universe is here saying to you, no, it's not as necessary as you think with the tower and the wheel of fortune. But because you're in such resistance to it, you don't, you don't see it. And you're getting frustrated because you're like, why is this not happening? I'm working on manifesting this. But the universe is saying, honey, boo boo chow, you are missing a pivotal piece of the puzzle. You must release attachment. You have to. Because if you are attached to a certain way that things can happen, then my powers as the universe to provide you with what you want or what you're asking me for or even what you need are limited. And that doesn't feel good for me. I am an unlimited entity, 1444 on the counter. I am an unlimited entity, but your, your mental scope right now is limiting the ways that I can bring this to you. And so it's, it's not coming through. Okay, moving forward, we have 
the queen of pentacles. You're good though. You're stable and you're solid and the universe is saying to you, you're stable. You are the queen of pentacles. You don't have to worry about this. Just let things fall away and what you want will come to you. Coupled with the seven of pentacles. Okay, so good. I'm feeling a little bit of a shift in the energy here because you are stable in your queen of pentacles state. Um, but what's being asked of you is to look back. Um, some of you are procrastinating a little bit. But in this procrastination, you could be using this time to analyze the seeds that you've sown and the fruits of your labor. What has gotten you to where you are right now and what is going to, what action, what action has gotten you here where you are right now and what action can take you forward to get to you ultimately where you want to go. We have a lot of feminine energy here. There is, um... Divine Feminine, I'm going to speak to you right now. And this came up in the Taurus video. Um, but I, and I don't know what's going to come out in the next two cards, or the next four cards. But some of you need to release your view of how you see your Divine Masculine. And this came up in the Taurus video. But we have all this Divine Feminine energy here. And so this message is saying to you, if you really want to reach your Ten of Cups, then you have to release your view of the person that you're connected with who they have been to you in the past, and you need to see them differently. It's time for you to take stock of why, all because you are a master manifester. With the the, the magician and the, the, the queen of pentacles here, um, divine feminine, you are a master manifester, okay? So it is really time for you to take a step back and realize what role you have played in the fruits that, have, that you've born, that you've grown. Is this a harvest that you really want? Okay, that's fine, Gemini. But it's time for you to, 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 to take responsibility. Okay, it's not all just your divine masculine that has gotten you here. Because your thoughts and your beliefs are what has helped shape and, shape and mold the reality that you find in front of you right now. You are a master manifester. Use that power to its fullest potential. And that means taking responsibility. I think that's going to be the title of this video. Take responsibility, Gemini. I mean, you didn't do it all by yourself. No, that is absolutely right. But even the chariot, I mean, the chariot is saying this to you. The chariot is practically screaming this at you right now. The chariot talks about um, balancing your emotions, balancing your light, your dark, your good, your bad, your positive, your negative, your masculine, your feminine, your yin, your yang. And using that balance to propel you forward towards what it is you desire. Okay, you've got the masculine energy here directing the um, the chariot that's being drawn by the emotions. And you've got the feminine aspect up in, in the angel above, which is righteousness. Which is um, acting from integrity. Okay. The reason why this Ten of Cups is, is reversed here or is blocked because ultimately you have not cleaned up your view of how things could be. Instead of focusing on the way things are right now, this is a really big theme for all of us at the moment. I've been talking about it in all three of the readings that I've done so far. But um, ultimately you need to understand that the more you focus on things that you find less than desirable, the more of it you're going to get, period. Okay, moving forward. <clears throat> Six of Cups in reverse with the, the Prince or the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is a lack of introspection. You're not getting what you want in the Six of Cups, um, this soulmate connection, because you're not approaching it correctly with the Knight of Wands in reverse. The Knight of Wands is like a spiritual warrior. Um, and in this case, it's talking about how you are approaching your manifestations. I'm really seeing some of you Geminis be like, well, look, <clears throat> this is how it should be. So if I don't get this, if I don't get it this way, then I don't want it. And that's, that's, un that's really not fair to yourself because you're limiting yourself. Instead of, <clears throat> instead of saying um, to yourself, okay, well, what can I adjust in myself 
to see things differently or to, to understand things better so that I have more options for the universe to bring things to me. Instead, what you're doing is you're, you're digging your heels in and saying, no, it's black and white. It's either this or that or nothing at all. It's all or nothing. And that's unfair. It's unfair to you and it's unfair to the people that you're trying to connect with, really. But ultimately, it's the most unfair to you because it's blocking your manifestations. Okay? Finally, we have the Hierophant in reverse with the Princess of Wands or the uh, Page of Wands in reverse. Um, so I'm getting that there is a resist there is resistance to um, some information from higher sources from your higher self that's keeping you from starting off on this uh, this journey, this new spiritual endeavor with the page uh, or princess of wands. Um, I, I'm feeling I'm feeling stubbornness, um, kind of a temper tantrum. It's almost like, the universe is saying one thing to you and you're, you're, you're throwing a fit about it mainly because you don't want to take responsibility for your role. I'm not asking you to take responsibility for the role of somebody else. I'm asking you to take responsibility for your role in the situation. Okay? Because ultimately, all you can control is your actions, your thoughts. Wow, this has been, this is a really rough period. And it's not just for Gemini. Um, I, it's for all of us. There is a lot of illumination happening. The two of cups in reverse underneath all of this is not necessarily, well, okay, I am being told that, yeah, it is talking about coming together or connecting with a soulmate and there is resistance to that. But ultimately, it, that is a reflection of your inner reality. You are in conflict with yourself at the moment and um, it's time for you to really iron that out. Because ultimately, you won't be able to connect with someone else if you're not fully connected with yourself. Okay, Gemini? All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, it's a rough message, but, you know, this is a rough period for all of us, so don't don't be upset. <laughs> it's okay. Everything will work out just fine, yeah? But just keep in mind that it's time, it's really time to look within and see what your involvement in the situation is. All right, Gemini? Much love to you, and I will see you in May, yeah? Take care. Bye-bye.